this series we will be exploring Google's speech to text API and before we begin we must have a couple of things ready for instance one credit card and then a Google account now I have both so I've created my account and I have also provided my credit card information to test out the service now, over here you can see you need to visit cloud.google.com slash speech to text and then you will be prompted with this button saying go to console when you click on this you'll be taken to this page you need to create a new project so you can create one by clicking on this drop down button and once you've done that you can associate the API Google's cloud speech to text API so here you'll get the enable button instead of manage if it's not enabled in your project and obviously you can try this API as well in my case you can see I've already enabled it so the manage button is coming up now clicking on manage will take you to this screen here you can see the details of the project the traffic response and some other tabs among these credentials is the one which is very much important so we'll click on credentials and it will open up this tab and here you can see that I've created an account called service accounts you can create a service account by clicking on create credentials button and then choosing service account when you'll do this you'll come to this page where you need to enter your account name this is the one that I'm creating right now which is obviously temporary and I'll be deleting it shortly after this demo so I've given it a name called test and here I'll be giving it the account description Now obviously you'll have to provide something more meaningful that I've already provided in my actual service account now click on create and here you can see it's just optional but I would recommend choosing a role and selecting owner after that you can click on continue and this is the one which you can obviously skip then you need to click on the done button now once the service account has been created it will reflect over here click on the link and once you have clicked on it you will be coming onto this screen and here you need to add keys so you select add key and go for create new key once you do that it will ask you to choose the type go ahead with JSON and click on create once you do that it will be generating a JSON file and uh, it will be downloading the same for instance over here you can see this is the file that was generated and downloaded you need to keep this file at a safe location because you'll be using it in the project so that's how we create our account enable the API and create the credentials over here we did as a service account and the JSON file that was generated will be then utilized in our project do you remember that we'll be creating this application as a Windows application using .NET Framework 4.5.2 and C Sharp as the programming language so that will be coming up in the next lecture